Hi everyone, it's Lindy. Today we're doing an unboxing from ThreadUp. So I know a lot of people probably see commercials for ThreadUp. I know I do. I hear commercials for ThreadUp on podcasts. I see them when I'm scrolling through Instagram. Um, I don't really shop a lot on ThreadUp just because, you know, I'm always out thrifting and everything. But every once in a while, I'll check out ThreadUp for sourcing. If I'm having some slow weeks sourcing at my local thrifts, um, I will check ThreadUp, especially if there is a promo going on, if there's a special sale going or something like that. I'll check out ThreadUp to see if there is anything that I can buy cheap enough where I can make money reselling it on eBay, Poshmark, not really Etsy, mainly just eBay and Poshmark. Um, I've actually sourced at ThreadUp I think three times now. This is my third and I figured I would show you guys what I got. As long as you have the time to sit and scroll and look up certain brands, you can find some really good stuff, especially if they're running a sale. Um, okay, so I... <laughs> Don't exactly remember what I got, to be quite honest. I actually placed this order a few weeks ago. And, um, yeah, I don't really remember what I got. So this is going to be like an unboxing for me too, because I don't really remember what I got. But I know that I got a really, really good deal. So I'm going to get this sucker opened up, and we'll see what I got. Here we go. But I spent, you know, a little over $30, and that was including the shipping. I had used a 20% off promo that they were having, and so everything I got, you know, I paid not very much. So let's see here. It's always so pretty. You know what? I don't like not knowing how much I paid for each individual item. I was hoping that it was going to be itemized on here and it's not. So I'm just going to look up the receipt right now because I want to know. The red up. My subtotal was $41.90, no tax, no shipping, and I got an $8.38 discount. It was that promo that was going on. So I paid only $33.00 and 52 cents. So now I do have an itemized list of what I paid for everything here, but these prices are not including uh, that 20%. So the prices I'm reading you are not going to include the promo, but just keep, keep in mind, I only paid $33.52 for all of these. All right, let's do this. So here we have Gray by Saks Fifth Avenue. And these are just blue skinny pants. These I paid $2.99. $2.99. 2 dollars for these. Now, some of these I really don't know the resale value. I've never had this brand before. Um, so I'm not sure the resale value, but I would assume I can get at least 15 or 20 plus shipping on these. And so that's a really good turnaround for $2.99. And remember, I used a promo code, so I got an extra 20% off of that. So now we have Citizens of Humanity. Citizens of Humanity. And these are some awesome back pocket patchwork jeans. And these are just ooh, boot cut. And they're a size, these are a size 27. The list price on these, 99 right there 5.99 on these and then i got that 20 20 percent off those will go for 20 bucks easy if not more because those are the newer ones those are the newer models newer model like it's a car and then lucky brand and this is the sophia boot size four and these are a nice Nice dark wash. Nice dark wash. And I paid $2.99 for these lucky jeans. So more like 
you know, 240, 250 after the 20% off. Got these J. Crew cropped matchstick pants, size 29. And white is really hard, but these are in really nice shape. They're in really nice shape. And I love J. Crew matchstick anything. And these I paid $2.99 for those bad boys. All right, and then next we've got some Joe's jeans. And these are just a nice dark wash boot cut. Really nice Joe's jeans. These are a size 29 and they are the honey fit. The honey fit Joe's jeans. These I paid $4.99 for Joe's jeans and then of course the 20% off. And then here's another Citizens of Humanity. Citizens of Humanity. And these are a dark, a much darker wash. These are like a really dark indigo and they're the low waist boot cut Kelly stretch and they are a size 32. I was really excited to see size 32 because that's a nice big size. It sells really well. These I paid $5.99 for. And then the 20% discount. Next up, we have J brand leggings. Well, they call, oh, jeggings. I'm sorry, I thought they called them leggings. These are the skinny leg ice blue and they're a size 28. And these I paid $4.99 for. Next up, these are J Crew toothpick, size 25, and they are an ankle cut, and they're just a really pretty, like salmon pink. Yeah, these are like salmon pink. And these are $2.99. And these are Seven for All Mankind. They are the A Pocket. And they're a size 26. And they are just a boot cut jean. They're the A Pockets. And these I paid $4.99 for. Now again, I some of these I'm not exactly sure what I'll be able to get, but I'm going to say a absolute minimum of 15 to 20 dollars plus shipping is what I would expect. And that is to try to flip them really fast. Now, the Citizens of Humanity and the Seven for All Mankind is probably going to be more in the 20 to 30 dollar range, uh, but the market's always changing, so I'm just going to take what I can get and try to flip them quick. And then last but not least, this is the last one. It's another Lucky Brand, Lucky Brand jeans. And these are more of a wide, a wide leg trouser cut. They're a trouser cut and they're a size six. These I also paid $2.99 for them. Woot. So now when I did sourcing at thread up this last time i really only looked for pants that was only that was the only thing i was really interested in i didn't really look a lot at the shirts and the dresses but as you can see i got a really good deal i spent you know 33 dollars on everything i just showed you and those are prices that i can't get at my local thrift for those brands so i'm really excited about it you know if you are struggling with sourcing at your local thrifts think of online sourcing like thread up and you can really score some good deals especially if you wait for there to be a day where there is a promo like i had waited they had just launched um, they had just launched something new on their app or something and so they were doing 20% off when you ordered through the app So that's what I did. That's how I scored an extra uh, ex Extra God, I can't talk today. That's how I scored an extra 20% off was just by ordering through the app using that promo but you know even without that promo those prices are still really good I mean 
$2.99 and $4.99 and $5.99. That's a really awesome deal, um, especially if you can get free shipping, which a lot of the times you can get free shipping on ThreadUp. So definitely check out ThreadUp if you haven't yet. I mean, it's really convenient to be able to source from home if you just have some spare time. A word to the wise though, you definitely want to not let items sit in your cart for very long. There are times I let items sit in my cart and someone else buys them and then I don't get them anymore. It's not like a traditional clothing site where there's multiple quantities of these items. There's only one. There's only one. It's just like at a thrift store. So, you know, if you're wanting those Citizens of Humanity jeans and you're just letting it sit in your cart, someone can swoop in and buy it first. And then you have to, you know, take it out of your cart. And that's kind of a bummer. So I do recommend if you are going to source on ThreadUp that you do it in one chunk and you don't just put items in your cart and then fiddle fart around and end up with half of your cart being sold out. So you don't want to do that. Anyway, that's just my experience because there's been way too many times where I have wanted to buy something and I couldn't because somebody else bought it first. Also, I have a promo for you. If you sign up using my thread up invitation link, you get $10 to spend on whatever you want at thread up. Free $10 if you sign up using my link, but it's only if you've never ordered on thread up before. It's a whole invitation thing. You get $10 off. So use my link for the free $10. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Have you sourced at ThreadUp before? What awesome things have you found at ThreadUp? Because I have found some hidden gems in there. You know, I've gotten things that are new with tags that they didn't have marked new with tags and I got really excited about it. What fun stuff have you found at ThreadUp if you've sourced there before? Um, are you excited about it? I am, I love it. So comment down below if you have anything to say about ThreadUp. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I hope you will. And thank you again so much for watching. I will see you with my next video. Bye.